Laminectomy is the surgical removal of parts of the vertebral bone called the lamina. 24 vertebrae make up the vertebral column or spinal column. Each vertebrae has two laminae fused together to form the roof of the spinal canal. The lamina protects the spinal cord in the neck and back regions. In the lower back, where the spinal cord ends, the lamina protects the large bundle of nerve roots called the coda equina, as well as the root nerves exiting the spine. Nerve root compression can be caused by bony space from osteoarthritis, a herniated disc compressing the nerve root, or less commonly, a bony tumor of the vertebrae. A laminectomy relieves back and leg pain caused by this nerve root compression by removing all or parts of the lamina. This immediately alleviates the pressure on the nerve roots. And if a herniated disc is present, the surgeon will often perform a discectomy which directly removes the source of the compression. A laminectomy can be done on a vertebrae in the lower back called the lumbar vertebrae or those in the back region called cervical vertebrae. During this procedure, the surgeon will begin by making a small incision over the line of the spine. Retractors are used to pull fats and muscles away from the lamina. Using a special bone draw, the surgeon will cut away the lamina in order to see into the spinal canal and locate the source of the nerve compression. And if a herniated disc is causing the compression, he or she will perform a discectomy by removing the protruding parts of the disc. To complete the procedure, the deep tissues and incision in the back will be closed with stitches.